टेन बायोलॉजिकल एंड केमिकल एंशियंट वेपन फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री डॉक्यूमेंट्री इन दंगर फॉर पावर अ केयरफुल सेलेक्शन ऑफ वेपन हैज ऑलवेज बिन क्रूशल फॉर विनिंग ए वॉर केमिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल वॉरफेयर लुक्स लाइक ए मॉडर्न इन्वेंशन However it has its roots back to ancient times These chemical and biological weapons has been used repeatedly throughout history Battle commanders and generals have always sought many ways to take advantage of the opposing forces This includes use of biological and chemical weapons that were gruesome painful and cruel Let's have a look at some of these weapons from ancient history. Number 10 poison arrows. Humans have been using poison arrows for over 70,000 years. They have been proved highly effective in reality. And these are still being used for hunting purposes by indigenous people around the world. The poison dipped heads of arrows make them lethal weapons. The poison was obtained from different botanical and animal sources. For example, larva entrails of a beetle called Dimaphidia contains poison that is capable of bringing down an adult giraffe. Ancient Greeks and Romans knew of at least two dozen poisonous plants. One of the most popular poisonous plants was known as hellebore. Hellebore poison causes muscle cramps, convulsions, delirium and heart attacks. So hellebore was an excellent choice for arrow poisons. Some arrows are also found to contain ricin obtained from castor seeds. Number 9 contaminating water resources. During times of war, danger is not limited to the battlefield. One of the original tactics of biological warfare used by many armies was to simply dump dead bodies into wells to poison the water supply not too complicated but very effective tactic the greeks used this tactic effectively during the first sacred war around 590 bc the greeks cut down the water supply of the strongly fortified city of kira leading to great thirst within the city They dumped a large quantity of hellebore poison in the water source or pipes and restored the water supply. The Kirhans became violently sick after drinking the poisoned water and they surrendered the city to Greeks without any opposition. Number 8 catapulting corpses. In the 14th and 15th centuries little was known about how germs cause disease. but it was known that the stench of rotting bodies can spread diseases so the corpses were used as a biological weapon against the enemy in 1346 tatars launched a siege of port city of kafa in present day iraq but they suffered an outbreak of plague and they decided to weaponize it they sent the infected bodies of their comrades over the walls of the city Plague spread in the city and fleeing residents carried the disease to Italy furthering the second major epidemic of black death in Europe Spreading disease was not only desired effect of this tactic the psychological effects that it had on the opposing troops were demoralizing and terrifying The idea for this type of warfare has always been to incite panic and fear and this tactic no doubt accomplished that well number 7 envenomed swords during alexander's conquest of the middle east a deadlier method was discovered in 326 bc alexander and his army arrived at fortified city of harmathiria which was located in modern day pakistan reportedly The Hermathelians were oddly confident in their victory. The Greeks soon learned the reason why. The secret behind their confidence was their envenomed swords. Their swords and arrowheads were coated with a drug of mortal effect. It was said that even a small scratch would kill a man. This poison was derived from the deadliest snakes, most likely a type of viper. 
Descriptions of the poison's effects are vivid. A wounded man immediately went numb, suffering stabbing pains and convulsions, bringing a horrible death to the victim. Number 6. Lime Dust Tear Gas Several forms of toxic smoke and gases has been used by the ancient people to deter the opponents. In AD 178, China used an early form of tear gas. Powdered limestone dust was equipped on horse-drawn chariots with bellows attached to blow the dust forward with the wind. When the dust interacts with the moist membranes, such as the eyes and nose, the effects are corrosive, blinding and suffocating those inhaling it. This tactic created an effective fog that made it easy to attack the enemies in the battlefield. Number 5. Beehive Bomb A major breakthrough in military came with the development of machinery capable of launching projectile weapons with heavy payload of hornet nests and beehives. In the European history, this tactic was used effectively to invade cities and ships to force evacuations or repel attackers. The technical high point in hive heaving machinery emerged in the 14th century with the development of predecessor of the Gotling gun that propelled straw hives from the ends of the rapidly rotating arms. The bees were colonized in special containers. In World War I, trip wires were set up along the enemy's route that would release hives. During a siege, nests were thrown into tunnels dug by the besiegers to deter their advancement. Deploying stinging insects can be dated back to biblical times and even as recently as the Vietnam War, where Viet Cong soldiers set up booby traps with Asian honeybees against American soldiers. Number 4. Flaming Arrow or Fire Arrow Flaming arrows were one of the earliest forms of weaponized gunpowder, being used from the 19th century onward. In China, a fire arrow is referred to as gunpowder projectile, consisting of a bag or pouch of gunpowder attached to the shaft of an arrow. Fire arrows are predecessors of fire lances, the first firearm. The rocket-propelled fire arrows appeared later. By the mid-1300s, rocket arrow launchers had appeared in the Ming Dynasty, and later on mobile rocket and arrow launchers were utilized in both Korea and China. The fire arrows propelled by gunpowder may have had a range of up to 1,000 feet. Number 3. Toxic Honey In perhaps the strangest tale, not one but two invading armies were defeated, hundreds of years apart, not by a weapon, but by a delicious treat. In 401 BC, in the land of Colchis near modern Turkey, Xenophon, a hoplite commander, stopped his men at a seemingly perfect place to camp. The Colchian village was well stocked with food and even offered a special treat of wild honey, which the hungry soldiers soon found it and raided. Soon after eating the toxic honey, the troops started behaving like intoxicated madmen. They soon were collapsing by the thousands. The men were completely incapacitated and some even died. This mad honey was produced by bees that collected nectar from poisonous plants in that region. Four centuries later, this would happen again to a Roman army in the same region. It is often speculated the other ways in which this honey may have been used in warfare. Number 2. Scorpion Bombs At the end of 2nd century, the Roman Emperor Septimius was on his way to take control of Mesopotamia. As he advanced on the desert stronghold of Hathra, the defender Persian king and his people started raining down clay pot bombs loaded with scorpions on them. 
The Romans were punished wherever they had exposed their skin, legs, arms, and worst of all, their faces and eyes. The deadly scorpions were known to cause serious illness and cause death within three days. The Romans were held at bay for 20 days until his troops finally broke off the battle and retreated. Number 1. Greek Fire Greek fire was developed by Byzantinians in 672. It was one of the key technologies that helped them grow their empire. The original flamethrower, Greek fire was a chemical liquid lit on fire. It was shot out of a pressurized nozzle from Byzantine ships, creating a stream of liquid fire. The chemical mixture was a military secret, but it is believed to be naphtha, that is hydrocarbon chemical mixture. But it was able to burn for extended periods of time on top of the water, thus earning the nickname Sea Fire. The Byzantines did not stop here though. After the development of Greek fire, they realized that they could also throw this horrific death at people inside stone and ceramic jars. This weapon would spread from west to east, where the Chinese were able to perfect this fireball and create the first prototype of the modern hand grenade. This is it guys for today's video. Please let me know your views in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Stay blessed, happy and healthy.